Your leader. You'll never get to it. He's surrounded by twice as many men, twice as tough as this one. down there.
Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church sure, is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinoles who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. 
What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off-duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? These men have been... These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crime punishable by death. The sentence... That should suffice. Follow me. These men have been found Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Move along, unless you want to join. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go then. locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. I've always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuits. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. Is Britain all in this war? Always seek the first principle to crumble. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half free fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down. Let them escape! Get it! The Indian too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Throw 
Where is Church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. You can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no, don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. 
Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, father. Reduce speed! Haul in to half sail! Bring her to full stop. No sail! Haul in everything! Deploy to half sail. Take her to half sail! Full sail! Unfurl everything! Full sail! Pull in to half sail! We need to ease off! Half sail! Welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. Enemy ahead! They're making to flee! After them! I want everything! Fly Slow her down to half Full sail! Stop. Ready to no fire. sail now! Double time! Roll out half sail! All into half sail! Bend them all! Full sail! On my mark! Go no faster! Rogue wind! Pull in the half sail! We need to Full ease sail. up! Half sail! How is it you came to captain a ship, given the way you sail? Rain her in to half sail! Slow her down to half sail! Choice have we? Those rocks would crush us. The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Enemy ships approaching. Ready our weapons. The battery turn fire. On. Church is using the ambush as cover. Send that bastard to the seafloor! No! I need his ship afloat! The cargo must be saved! Damage report, officer! Stop! No sail! Fire, run! 
What has Church done with the cargo? It's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you, working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. I came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? something bigger than themselves who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands how convenient for them we do the work 
they reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be. Zawaniyos kina, nagtiyah nete kaan tu ti tokas ke. Passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I feared the Order allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. <laughs> 